Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another edition of Chop Talk from our weekend full of wrestling. I am your co-host, Andre C. Right over here is my regular co-host, the wonderful Princess Melball, and our special guest, the queen of O-L-E. It's Astrid Pizarro. Hey there. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Yes. I'm excited. We have Astro Pizarro here for some special weekend of wrestling. We were like, really, I was scared that this show wasn't going to happen. Not only did it happen, we got a special guest ring announcer. Oh, no. Well, we're we're going we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, to we're gonna save that for, for, for the show. I have a picture. <laughs> Oh, and we can tell you this much it's not two thirds of him, it's the whole shaboozle. Oops. I'm never gonna <laughs> live this. I'm never gonna live this down. No. <laughs> not anytime soon. Not even a little. Uh. <laughs> Let's talk about this show, man, because holy crap, was this a fun show? community show at the Delwood uh, Fall Festival. But man, there was some ish in this show. <laughs> it's just it was it was funny. L let's get a, through the intro. So yeah, we're we're here to talk about the RCW Delwood Fall Festival uh show. Uh but before we do that, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning here on Chop Talk. I want to thank each and every one of you whether you're watching on Backbreaker Video, uh Andre Mel Wrestling Talk. Thank you so much. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Please share it tell your friends, family, uh and for those that uh put their pictures on pictures they don't deserve to be in because they didn't show up in the city to be part of the picture. Uh share that to those people uh and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. Hello. Hello. I, 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 and I really want you to clip that just to show them. <laughs> You're the one who uploads. We can try. We can try. Yep. Well, I'll, I'll clip it and send it to them. Just screw them both. They, <laughs> they, 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 they intruded on a picture they shouldn't have intruded on. Because they didn't show How up. How dare they be in areas we that are not easily to travel from. That is right. That is right. So we're going to get into where to talk the RCW uh, Delwood Fall Festival show. And we kick it off with the special guest ring announcer. It was me. Me in a suit. <laughs> Look at that dapper gentleman. Look at that distinguished gentleman. Yes. Very I distinguished. <laughs> I literally haven't worn that suit in over a year. And the pants were very loose. Well, I mean, you've been on a journey, haven't you? I have. You've been on a good journey. So, yeah. so it seems to me you need to get your suit tailored. <laughs> I do. I really, really do. I, I might have to buy new pants. I think it's flat out. I might just have to buy new pants is how, how loose they felt on me. So, yeah. I think and I have suspenders. That is the power of positivity. Shout out. To what? What is their faction? New day. Thank you. <laughs> power of positivity, drive, and also the power of Rich King kicking your ass. That's true. The power of positive uh, and uh, reinforcement by Rich King. Not not the power. There of you go. That, that doesn't exist. It sure. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, the new day is going to be over in. A, in a couple weeks anyway so really they don't, they don't they don't mean anything soon enough the shame no. well, xavier's gonna turn on kofi and it's all gonna go to hell all because big e decided he didn't want to come back to wrestling i'm, jo I'm joking love you biggie hope you get I, ho I hope you heal up i really do <laughs> I, <love that>, <laughs> I joke oh, i have a joke yes oh, so we kick it off, and I created all the match graphics for this show because we didn't even know a card until we didn't even know our proper card until probably 15 to 20 minutes before the show started. So, yeah, and it kept changing. The card literally changed during the show. He went full. This this card was full Vince McMahon here with 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 changing cards during the show and re and changing things during the show. So. Yeah, not in the other way, but I mean, in, from a in spectator the... standpoint, though, it turned out pretty 
Pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's true. Oh, I'll I'll be I'll be telling you what is what the changes were. So we kicked it off uh, with the opening match. It is Alex Rain versus Rich King. Yes, the Alex. The Alex is back. He returns to RCW. Yeah. So happy. I know Mama loves so the happy. Alex. I Rich. love the Alex. He's so good though. Uh, Mel uh, Nastra just. Super happy to see Rich again. I know we all know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were denied a tip touch this this day, though. Yeah, we she loves. Ooh, she loves. Astrid really loves those kings, you know. I mean, I mean, why not? Taste. <laughs> right to the top. Man, Straight Rich. To top. Rich agonizing those. Oh, sorry. Yes. We did <laughs> it. Yay. <laughs> Uh, Rich antagonizing the children. Just. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, so good. So good. Um, in the match, Rich dodges a moonsault, but he ends up getting hit, hit with a running headhunter. Looked really good. Um, Alex shoves Rich to the apron. But as he goes to attack Rich, Rich fights back, hits that beautiful final beat, DDT, follows it up with a cradle shock, but he only gets two. Alex hit and kicks and hits that beautiful where he pushes Rich into the ropes and hits that rebound in German. I love it when Alex... I, I, I've seen him do it a few times in matches. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I agree. I actually was saying the same thing. I turned to Bobby and Asher and I was like, would that be a rebound suplex? And then Bobby's like, wait, wait, I don't... I Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I earned a lot of gold stars at this show, let me tell you. Asher's just going to tell you that that's factual. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. It, it's only because it's Astrid. Do I trust it? If it was anybody else, I would. Thanks. I would be. If it was anybody else saying it, I'd be suspect. Because you know, no, I don't trust it for Sus. everybody as much as I trust Astrid. So if you're lucky. That's it's Astrid. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, uh, beautiful lion salt by Alex hitting Rich, but Rich gets his hand on the ropes to break the pin. Alex goes to the top, but Rich shoves the ref into the ropes, causing uh, Alex to crotch himself and fall to the mat. And Rich follows it up with the eight, six, seven driver for the win. Yes. I knew it was a, a driver. I just couldn't remember what the numbers were. I knew it was his area code, but area I couldn't remember the area code. Area yeah. code of Yukon. Well, I don't exactly make a lot of calls there, so I don't. You gotta excuse me not knowing the area code sorry um but yeah this was a really fun match for me i'm always excited to see the alex always excited to see rich and again we saw rich kind of wrestling more facey at the last rcw show and fairly facey at the lpw show he was no facey here oh nay nay we got yelled at a few times <laughs> for clapping for the Alex. We got yelled at to not touch Tiff's. <laughs> it was just great. But yeah, this this was a, a show. It was a family show. So the fall festival, there was a lot of children about. And and yeah, it was it, there was a lot. It was a swarm. It was a lot of fun though, because as you said, he Rich was beacon a lot to the children. It ended up adding to the like mm -hmm. fun of the environment i think astrid what do you think of this one yeah the children kept spreading like a disease it looked like <laughs> <laughs> we started with like it, it felt like a small crowd and then by the main event we just had like twice the amount of kids and there i was like i don't know where they all came from but yeah like like mel was saying the fact that rich is able to play off with them the way he did on on their side and they play off with us on the other side I, I was cheering for the man. He was still like booing me for cheering on. I was like, I'm sorry. I, I like watching you wrestle. Uh, but no, this was a, a fun opener. This is uh, the first time I watch uh, Alex wrestle as well. And yeah, he really, he was really a great performance to watch him the way he did. It, it made me want to see more from him. So I wanted, I was hoping the match would be a little bit longer than what it was. But I understand, like you said, the changes within the card, uh, Andre there. But again, fun match and fun opener for the kids to begin their fun and kind of get their attention and, and draw a little bit more of a crowd as the as the day went on. This was one of the only matches that never had a change to it. 
because this was on the initial card and it stayed it was always the opener and it was always supposed to be these two so excellent <laughs> Great way to yes. open it because we have two very, very good wrestlers with kind of unique styles on their own. Rich Moore, power wrestler. Alex, more of like an aerialist. So it kind of was an interesting clash of styles that we got to, to start off the show. And both these guys playing off the kids as well. Rich in, in the heel kind of fashion and Alex in the, the face kind of fashion. It kind of worked out really, really nicely. Yeah, it, it very much did. It very much did. So we go to the next match on the show, which was supposed to be the fourth match on the show. It is T.Y. Jackson versus Christian Starr. Again, according to the... Oh. <laughs> no, there you go. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, T I, I'll admit I missed a good a chunk of this match, just do, dealing with stuff and trying to wrangle children to keep them away from the ring. That was the thing we did most of the goddamn show, except we just abandoned it at the main event. Um, but you know why? There were two matches in particular that you really had to wrangle their, the children. And they both included the same man. And it was that man right there, T.Y. Jackson. Oh, no, the Holy main event. The main event was insane, though. Yeah, that was the worst. But I felt that T.Y. was playing very much savage level heel. Like, mm. no, as I mentioned in the Chop Talk before, I'm used to seeing T.Y. as that smiley heel who's still like a smiley guy, but he's like, a dick as a smiling guy this the last couple shows we're seeing a very savage ty and he was like damn near at what point i turned to astro and i'm like he's reminding me of tama right now like the only thing he's not doing is just walking around going get, 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 get. please don't want to clip that <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing he wasn't doing, but he may as well have, because he was just randomly yelling at the children. Oh, these care. children were incensed with with T.Y. They were incensed yeah. with him. Uh, they were so, chasing him at one point. <laughs> so they, uh, I, I again, I don't have much notes for the. I just got the kind of the stuff at the end. Star hits his beautiful super os cutter off the t top. Uh, Rope on the top off the top cor of the corner, beautiful looking super os cutter. Just get it, but only getting two off that. They end up on the top rope. Ty hits a beautiful Spanish fly off the top, and it gets the win. Damn, that was pretty. That Spanish fly and Astrid with a beautiful shot here. So, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, that looks like it was from where we were sitting. <laughs> yeah, I got Astra sent it to me last night. Oh, yes, girl, great picture. Yeah, next time I'll watermark them before I send them. <laughs> yeah, people stealing our pictures. I, 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 yeah, you need to get on that watermark stuff. Yeah, property of Astra Pizarro. How? She, anyway. you have, I, I just use her whatever your logo is. Just have that as the watermark in all your photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Whichever works. Yeah, this was a great match. This is another one where again the kids got even more fired up seeing this kind of high energy because Ty go go goes and Star go go goes. These guys both were going so quick, so fast. It really got everybody, not just the kids, all fired up for it. Um, yeah. These guys were throwing kicks, throwing punches. It was so crazy, so crazy. But again, that savagery of Ty is something that I'm becoming a little fixated on, because it it's going across companies. It's not just happening in RCW. It's, it's going across RCW and LPW. We're seeing some changes in the Reds. I'm I'm curious to see what ends up happening and how it impacts. His relationship with, with um, Rich, how it impacts his relationship with with fucking Larry. Where is it going to impact the the relationship with Mitch? Is Mitch even still a rad? What's going on? He's the All most. He is the most violent rad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The violence. That's he the grew one his beard back. 
<laughs> he did. This is the the one disappointment I had for this show was no Mitch Clark. I was very, I was really hopeful. We also would have loved to see West End King because I wanted Kings. the violence. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted the violence. So oh, I wanted the violence too. <laughs> I know. Astrid Leave me, you, those, Astrid, and I Astrid have like, a conversation. Astrid likes those kings. Yes, I do. And she has quality taste. What can she say? Uh, there you go. <laughs> Astrid, you got anything on this one? No, what, what I enjoyed about this match too is the fact that it kept going with like the atmosphere that we had already. Like it wasn't a dip within the crowd. And that's something that I love to see when you have a card like this, that you are very consistent. You keep the crowd's attention. And they did so well with the action that it kept going with it. It, it, it kept that momentum going and they didn't lose that. And I'm glad they didn't because it was a great match as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Very solid match. Um, so we mm -hmm. move on. Third match of the evening. It is the the, the implosion of the family jewels. It is Rick Jules versus J J Spade. This was very odd to me because, like last time I saw both these guys on the card, they were buddies. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. They were fighting together, defending Sid. Yeah, who was also on this show. So. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. So. This is why we tell people stay freaking back from the ring because they had to like, like JJ had to like pull up when he was going for the dive. He had to like almost alter himself. He was doing a dive off the top mm -hmm. to the outside. He had to like almost alter himself in midair not to hit children who were getting too close mm -hmm. to jewels on the outside. And it, that's why we're mm -hmm. constantly telling people back up because it's like Jesus Murphy. Oh, I know that we don't like responsibility and stuff because responsibilities are boring but if you had the audacity to bless this plane with a semen demon please be responsible and either keep it on a leash or wrangle it when it gets out of control this was out of control oh my god where were the parents there, like legitimately for the amount of children there there was not enough parents I I, su I swear there is way more children than what even if every parent had three children, there still wouldn't have been enough parents there. Yeah, like, there was a lot of kids. At one point, Nathan started parenting the, the <laughs> five that were in front of us because he's like, you're in front of me. I'm going to yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ju there's a great spot where Jay just running at Joe's in the corner. And he catches him and just smokes him with that your uh, Samoa Joe Yurunagi out of the corner. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, JJ goes for a dive off the top at one point, but Jules turns it into an RKO. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. Really gets a two there. The kids are behind JJ here. He is like the kids mm -hmm. are chanting. You got you guys were chanting JJ holding the signs. The kids were chanting for yeah. JJ. Um, they hit this be the beautiful uh, double running cross uh, in the ring. I loved it. Uh, mm -hmm. The end, though, comes. JJ hits the shotgun dropkick into the corner, follows it up with the Mitch Inoku driver, then goes to the top, but Jules gets the knees up on the frog splash attempt and hits that running knee to the back of the head of JJ Spade. And Rick Jules is your winner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This was a very interesting one because when again, as you mentioned, JJ and Jules were buddies the last time, tag team, uh, the last time we saw them, and this was a very distinct difference um, in character and personality. JJ personality, personality, um, where JJ is still a face and very much over with the crowd, and Jules when he first came out. You know, there was the adults like that, the us and Ronnie, Vicky and Mandy. We all knew him. So we're like, yay, Jules. And then we're like, oh, no, he's yelling at the children. Oh, we, oh, he's supposed to be the bad guy in this one. <laughs> it was very interesting to see him on the other side of the fence because I've only ever seen him as the face. I've never seen him as the heel. So it was it was a change of pace for me um personally to see him like that but yeah and i we forgot to mention at the beginning of this when we also had a special guest with us viewing not only was our friend nathan there but our good friend and affiliate from oele bobby munson 
and his beautiful wife Shauna came to see us. And we he he got to he was so proud he got to hold up one of our JJ Spade signs. He, so fun. They, I, I'm so happy Bobby and uh, Shauna came out uh, to the, mm-hmm. to come out and to see Astrid. I know that that's the main one, see Astrid. But I'm glad they came out and hung out at the show with us. It was a good time. Yes, that's fun. We had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, so I actually, I actually ended up crashing in on his Sunday show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Astrid, yeah. what do you think of this one? So this one, I like. I I know from what I've seen stuff online, like you guys said, I was used to them as partners. So seeing them on the opposite side was something that was surprising to me in this match too. But again, it's like the character work from Rick here was really well done, and the way that JJ is able, able to play off of the crowd, especially the kids too. And like Andre was saying, the way that he was, he had a moment that he was falling onto almost all the kids, and he had to adjust himself and put his ease up so he wouldn't hit any of the kids. And it's like that's something I wouldn't have been able to do on the fly. To like not hit anybody somebody would have lost a head or an eye somewhere in the middle there so i like how he was able to change that pace of it there so that way it was safe for the kids and him as well and again it's like the character work between these two i think it was so well done and i'm glad that i can finally see them in like in person wrestling like this too yeah and uh, jj yeah. knew who and jj knew who you were yeah because <laughs> she's the queen come on now and like we've mentioned in like remember there was that one LPW show where the one kid didn't get out of the way and just ate TY's foot? <laughs> Weaponized the children. I oh, was God. I was almost hoping a child would have gotten hurt, but then I didn't want that to happen because I don't want our CW to get sued. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. Yeah, so we move on to the fourth match of this show. It is the Bryce the Slammer Soba taking on Shotgun Sid Greed. Um, Sid gets the crowd chanting Slammer sucks, and jo- Slammer's just going after the children. And Sid goes out to save the children and tossing Slammer back in the ring. Uh, I, I just, I think like, Slammer had like. I'd probably say he had the second most amount of heat on the show after T.Y. I would say so, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. He really knew how to piss the kids off, yeah. And he, he was, I think, the one that got the kids to to be almost violent back towards him. T.Y. Oh, just pissed them off and ran away from them, but he was, like, quick enough to stay out of dodge. Mm-hmm. Well, T.Y. chased one after his match, too. Like, after and there were several was... chasing after him. <laughs> <laughs> There were, it was a those. multi-chase. There were layers to <laughs> this chase. Oh, so good. So good, man. Uh, yeah, the, the kids just chanting Slammer sucks and Slammer's just like, no, just yelling, no, I don't, and trying to get them to chant Slammer's great and stuff. And Slammer, it was just, just perfection. Um, yeah. Slammer stops a head series and just shoves it off and he's going for the head and he comes down like almost on his head and I was like, Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know Sid. He just laughed it off. Yeah, Sid <laughs> ends up fighting back with a hits a and hits a stunner at one point. But Slammer gets back to the offensive, beating them down some more. Uh, Slammer just and tag goes like he climbs up to the like second rope, and he's just yelling at the children, saying and yelling, "Slammer rocks." Slam or something like trying to get them to chant, and then they would just yell, Slammer sucks back at him. It was great. Mm-hmm. As we sit, shit comes up to the top and superplexes Slammer off of the top, but cannot capitalize. Uh, Sid goes for a pile driver, uh, but he get it gets stopped, uh, but because Slammer sends Sid into the ref, and then he hits Sid low and finishes Sid with the snuff pile driver. For the win. You want to take this one first, girl? <laughs> the fun part about this is like the way that Sid is able to grab the kids' attention in such a way with the chant. And the way the chant is something that it's on and off throughout the whole match. I just something that I love to see there because it gets to like, we're not going to forget about this. It was catchy to them. And the way they kept repeating it every so often. And no matter how much Slammer tried to change the chant whatsoever. And even during the match, you would be like, who's the best? And, people, and the kids will say, Slammer sucks. It's like that kind of thing. I love the way they vibed with the crowd as a heel and face dynamic here with the kids. 
and being like even we heard it later on in the show too but the way they were playing playing off of each other and even at points that slava was like scaring some of the kids the way he was reacting towards them too i think it was like they played off really well the dynamic they had as a, as characters with the kids here mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah you yeah, you're absolutely right, because there was points where Slammer would go into the crowd and the kids mm -hmm. would try to be intimidating him and he would actually react fearfully like, oh, these kids are going to beat me up. It was a great kind of dynamic that they were able to to kind of utilize. Um, now, Andre, correct me if I'm wrong, but were both of these guys uh, doing tributes to, in their intros to um, Vince Austin in this um, Slammer with the Reaper cloak and the eye patch and then sid with the um the chain the he uh sid had the chain plus he was coming out to a song called valhalla as a yeah, tribute to them, his, yeah. yeah as it hit the song his song uh his song was valhalla so he was coming out tribute to mm -hmm. uh to vince in that in that spot too so yeah yeah very nice sentiment very sweet sentiment especially for both these guys both of them worked with vince very closely um in rcw over the years so it was nice to see um the little rub the well, little I, homage I, and tribute. I remember back when i first started going to rcw back in like oh nine two thousand ten somewhere um slammer and vince were a tag team known as c block back then so yeah i remember that i remember mm -hmm. them being a tag team way back in the day so Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I remember seeing some matches between Vince and Sid. They're just glorious, glorious chaos. Just, they're just scary. It's just they're just yeah. scary. And, yeah. You know, that was a Viking rage, though. Yeah, it was a so nice. It was so nice. It was so nice to see. It's so nice to see all the companies so far doing little tributes for Vince because he did impact so many people in so many locker rooms. Um, but yeah, getting back into this match, it I love watching Sid because you know how many like the size differential was just. It was a super heavyweight versus a junior, <laughs> and Sid seemingly loves re really just seems to love getting yeeted around like he will get thrown he'll take a bump he'll react to it and then he'll start laughing just cackling in the corner and just like it's almost sadistic but you know that it's it's a part of his character and a part of who you know shotgun Sid is it's phenomenal i mm -hmm. loved it and then seeing him after the match it was just like he's like yeah I'm great. It was great. We had fun. <laughs> we, I thought you were going to die. Yeah, like, according to official weights, Slammer outweighs Sid by 90 pounds. 260 to 170. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Jinkies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a difference. No, sorry. 100 pounds. I think uh, Sid's only at 160. I'm actually be confusing him with sorry. Yeah, I'm confusing him with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You're the ringing answer. Oh, I didn't. I, I, yeah, Sid. Sid's weight I didn't get, but I think he's 160. Yeah. yeah. Question. Yeah, Hundred pound difference in the comments. So after the match, Slammer decides to continue beating up on Sid, and mm -hmm. we got to say from the RCW Hardcore Champion Nasty Nate Nixon, who mm -hmm. makes the way of saving Sid. And he he takes the mic and he says, uh, he's sick of Slammer. I'm going to challenge you to a hardcore title match in the main event after intermission. So, and Slammer accepts it. And yeah, we're getting a hardcore title match to finish off the show. Yes. As soon as we saw him come out with that kendo stick, we're like, yes. It's getting nasty. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we went to intermission. Uh, people wandered away. People eventually came back for the start of the uh, after the intermission, uh, we which saw we a bunny. what we saw a bunny. Did, did you? Yeah, it was in the part. You were there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and a kid got lost in the way. <laughs> I remember. I remember the lost child. I don't remember a bunny. <laughs> It was while we were talking about the lost child, and I went, "Hey, look, a bunny!" Oh, I don't remember that. 
Maybe I wasn't paying attention. That, that's, that's not fair. surprising. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, we came back from intermission, though, after we after people were looking for a child, um, and the rads interrupt me because it's because it, the refs had come to the ring and they were supposed to start the main event, supposed to start the hardcore title match. The rads decided to interrupt me, and uh, they start take the mic, they start talking crap, saying they haven't had any good competition on this show, uh, and they're saying they're wanting they want uh, some more competition. So out comes the Alex, and Rich says, "Ah, oh, we already beat you. You're, I already beat you. You're nothing." And then to back him up, out comes Jay Jay Spade, and he yes. makes a... so we ended up getting uh, uh, Jay Jay and uh, Alex teaming up, the uh, wanting team up, and then I just I just asked Riff, I'm like, "Did are you, are you making a tag match here?" And he's like, "Yeah, tag match." And I'm like, and I said, "Yeah, we're getting tag match. Rads versus uh, Alex and JJ." And we we oh, went with balls. it. All the fall. I didn't get to do that on this one because it was just an impromptu. I got to call it. Just to say what that's happening. Or did I say one fall? I don't know. I, I said know. all the falls quite a few times that night, so I don't know. I, I get it. Unlike the last one, you know, I gave you the, the opportunity to yell all the falls. So You did. You did. We did at LPW, too. It's just not. It, they, they're not used to it yet. Yeah, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't give you the opportunity last time I ring announced to do it. So you didn't, because you were no. a dick. I really am. I really am. So we get the Raz versus JJ and Alex. Uh, Raz end up hitting that atomic drop bulldog combo uh, to Alex at one point. I love that little spot. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, beautiful shotgun drop kick to Ty by JJ, and then follows it up with a Michinoku driver to Rich at one point. JJ gets a two count. I'm just going through random spots that I've written down here. Uh, double suplex by JJ and Alex to Rich King. And then JJ splashes Rich. And then Alex hits a lion salt for two. And then the JJ ends up uh, going to the floor. And we get a reappearance of one uh, Rick Jules who attacks JJ on the outside. Much to the ref not seeing that. Uh, TY goes at Al or So... Alex is up on the top rope. Ty goes running into the corner. So Alex like tight rope walks out and 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 springboards off the top rope to hit a drop kick to Rich King. Look, it looked so good. Yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> that so smooth the way they did. He just like tight rope walk and jump. It just looked so good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that kid is so good with his aerials. Yeah. So uh the end of this match comes. TY fakes a knee injury, distracting the referee, and Rich hits a low blow to the Alex, hits the Olympic slam, and TY miraculously recovers, goes to the top, hits that swanton, and the Rads get the win. <laughs> We did it. <laughs> we're red. Reds are red. Reds are red. We were the only people chanting for the red. Yeah. Which is probably why we were getting yelled at by them. Um, yeah, this was a nice little um, impromptu match. I really enjoyed seeing the Alex and JJ again. Of course, we love seeing the Rads again. Um, I really enjoyed this. I felt that this was a great progression into the main event because it got the crowd hyped again. Brought out TY. TY was just on fire with the heat. Let me tell you, the kids really freaking hate it. I really enjoyed though there when when Jules did come out, I was actually recording at that point. And Astrid and I started going, don't be so special, don't be so special. Because they just rolled under the ring. But because there was no banner on our side of the ring, you could see him just laying there like do 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 under the ring. <laughs> And his little, I, little sweater. So funny. So funny. Don't be suspicious. Astrid. Don't be suspicious. The don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I need, Lord, to, see I that, I, I need to see that video. 
<laughs> I will send it to you. Uh, no, you. what I enjoyed about this too, like seeing everybody here again, and Alex was more like I like I said, the ragdoll of the team because he was there more than JJ was at the beginning. And then when everything happened with Rick, I remember Mel was recording a video, and I had to tap her on the shoulder, look to your left, because Rick was on the other side. But I wasn't sure what he was going to do. And then it started like the way he just hits JJ, and like Mel said, the way that really happened to cover and the ring has such a gap that he was able to just roll out of the like it, under the ring in such a way. It was so smooth and obviously it helped with the fact that the referee can't see him so it was really well done so it was that ending sequence there and again they kept going like hyping up with the crowd as well and that's something that i love about, about this whole event is the fact that there was no like dip in the crowd reactions and the fact that we have more kids as the time went on it helped out as well and they, they were having so much fun with the matches that we're having and the characters that they kept seeing there as well in front of them so mm -hmm. overall another fun match here too yeah great time so we end up moving over main event of the evening for the RCW Hardcore Championship. It is Nasty Nate Nixon versus Bryce the Slammer Sova. Uh, spot early Slammer knocks Nate over the top and then grabs him with the chain with the chain that he stole from Sid earlier on and like mm -hmm. starts lifting Nate up, like hanging, choking him with the chain. I was like, oh. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Togo style. Togo style. Um, he actually low blows uh Nate with the, well with the chain wrapped on his arm. He hits him with a low blow. I was just like, okay, all right, all right. Yeah, Slammer uh beating beating him up with a chair. Uh, Nate fighting back, getting that uh, running that pump knee into the to the face in the corner. I love that spot. Um, uh. Slammer ends up fighting back eventually, gets a this huge lariat, just like almost almost inside out. Because like Nate's feet just kicked up in the air, just went wee. I was like, okay, that's pretty wee. good. <laughs> uh, Slammer places a cookie sheet in the corner, starts attacking Nate, and then goes to run him into the cookie sheet in the corner. But Nate reverses, sending Slammer head first into the cookie the, into the nasty cookie sheet. Because it has nasty written across it. It did. Um, yeah, there. Uh, Slammer stops Buck Nasty, backdrops Nate onto a chair. It was it was a good, nice little spot there. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Nate ends up getting tossed out to the floor. Slammer goes out, starts beating up Nate, but Nate fights back. He ends up getting a guy in a, a in a dinosaur costume involved and whips Slammer Triceratops. Triceratops costume and yeah. whips Slammer at him, and that and that dinosaur ran. Over Slammer, he knocked him down, and then a kid ran up and kicked Slammer in the ass. Good job, kid. <laughs> oh, I love, I love that. I had to tell the kid, please don't do that. But uh, I was singing the Jurassic Park theme in my head the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so good. That is so good. Uh, Nate, so they head back in, they send Slammer back in, he goes to the top, but Slammer whips a chair at his face. And then yeah. pulls him in, hits a Tower of London from the, uh, hits him with a Tower of London cutter. Uh, then uh, only gets two. Slammer starts in with the kendo stick, just beating the piss out of Nate. Uh, Nate catches catches it, takes it from him, wallops the hell out of Slammer, and follows it up with Buck Nasty for the uh, Buck Nasty onto a chair for the win. Yeah, you go first, girl. Uh, this one, uh, I think Nate definitely was a stand up for me in this match. Uh, one of my favorite spots here was the one with the like the cookie tray, as Andrew was saying, to the way he just bounced off. Was like, I kept thinking, as my brother and I will always say, when you set it up, you're gonna go through it, and it did happen in this match, too. Um, I just felt bad for the kids that were nearby because we thought that we we're gonna hit one of the kids that didn't even move. Um, but again, it's like Nate was able to play off with the kids as well during this match. And even with the dinosaur, they were, he was like, no, we're going this way. And all the kids and the, even the Triceratops following him to get involved in this match. I love how he was able to play off of that during this. And yeah, the way he, even around the ring, all the kids were like basically going after him, trying to go after the action and watch it, you know, so close to them too. And it was so well done the way he played off of this and they did really well with it. Literally, mm -hmm. when when Slammer was down on the outside, both times he was down on the outside, kids were trying to attack him. It's... One kicked him in the ass, and I, I, I was proud of the kid, but then said, don't do that. 
And this goes back to the original phrase that we started on Friday at LPW. And that is, weaponize the children. <laughs> they did. They Grab did. one by the ankle, just start swinging. <laughs> you can take care of a lot of problems. Um, but yeah, th this match was so much fun. Nate, obviously, a favorite of ours. We got to have our first nasty section with Astrid and Bobby and Shauna. You weren't there, but like you were there in spirit. Um Bob Bobby yeah. Bobby Bobby subbed in for me. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um there was one point I think with the chair, they were doing the chair spot. I think the top of the chair ended up like flying out and actually landing, like going through a, an area pretty quick, like hard where a bunch of children had actually been initially standing but nate nathan our friend nathan had actually yelled at these children and was like you are too close you need to move away you're going to get hurt and like they moved and a few seconds later whoop, went through the top of the chair and then we're just sitting there like see that would have been a very unhappy child because that just came out of nowhere and suddenly Taking a piece of a metal chair across your face would have certainly made people back up in the ring, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really fun mm -hmm. match, though. I really enjoyed this. The antagonistic attitude of Slammer from the earlier, obviously carrying through into this one. Um, I felt it worked out so well and enabled them to have a lot of fun just catering to the crowd on this one. It was so much, just so much fun. And so much fun to have the company that we had. It was like a big picnic <laughs> without food and professional wrestling instead. You dined on professional wrestling. We dined on the delicacy of professional wrestling. We very much did. But we've come to the end of another episode of Chop Talk. Uh, I'm going to let Astrid uh, promote where you can find her stuff. I just got to find her clicker. There we go. Actually, yeah, I do you? better this time. <laughs> you can find me by Twitter and Blue Skies, Astrid Pizarro, my Instagram and threads, Astrid Pizarro 20. And you can find me on my YouTube channel, just like my name, Astrid Pizarro, as well. And you can find me on Tuesdays doing Taking Over with Edo as we discuss NXT uh, and, and everything going on in the world of NXT and whatever Chip Shawn Michaels is cooking for us. <laughs> and this Tuesday, what's the special thing going on there? There. We gotta watch along as we have to open up Julie Evers Roxana. We have an expert analysis of this one right here joining us for that one as well. So it'll be an exciting time. Yeah. And then a so week much. later, I'm gonna be there. Sure. <laughs> oh, you sure oh. are. Oh. You sure oh, are. Sure. Oh, did your heart hurt there? You okay? A little, bit, a little. I felt. I felt. I felt. The, I. I felt it appears right in there. I felt it like a. Like a quick pierce she like my heart. Kalimans. No, like 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 a like a syringe or a knife or something went right oh. in. That's what it felt like. Oh, felt, felt I didn't really... know Hangman Page was in the city. <laughs> Hangman Pizarro, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll Bazinga! Take I'll take it. Bazinga. <laughs> children uh, so you can find me on the x at that candidate guy tiktok instagram and threads at that candidate you can find me on facebook at andre melbo wrestling talk or on our youtube page youtube.com slash at andre and melbo wrestling talk you can also find us with all our japanese wrestling content over at a plus productions in audio form go check them out over there a plus productions on facebook and a plus productions.com to get the rss feed you can sign up for the wrestling feed the entertainment feed or the sports feed depending on what you want to listen to you can also find me over at our local establishment twitch.tv slash our local establishment youtube.com slash at our local establishment this coming wednesday probably around 8 30 or it's like 8 30 mountain 10 30 eastern me and ed will be there for marvel talk talking agatha all along episode Four, check that out. Ooh, the Marvel talk. Ooh, ooh the dual Marvel talk. Nice. I like that. Yes. I like it. 
I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be there talking episode four of Agatha all along. So come check that out. And then I want to give one more shout out to our boy Mike Thrift over at Backbreaker Video, uh, youtube.com slash at Backbreaker Video, where he simulcasts all of my name elbows and Asher Pizarro stuff over there. So thank you so very much for, for supporting us over there. You can see him live at twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref every Wednesday, Saturday, and pay per view Sunday, and even pay per view Saturdays for AEW, which is going to be Wrestle Dream. Uh, you can check him out over there to the AW Watch Longs and then gaming almost every other night of the week. He was there today gaming, I know that, even though football was on, which he should have been watching. Um, <laughs> and then you can see replays of all the great gaming content he does over at youtube.com slash uh, at backbreaker underscore gaming. You find content from him, Mr. PJC, the man we saw at RCW Delwood Fall Festival, Mr. Rick Jules, and their frequent guest. Rainbow J. Kayla J. Kayla J. Kayla J. We love Kayla J here. Yes, we do. Melball, where mm-hmm. can they find you? If you wanted to follow Melball, you can follow her on the X thing at Collins Melball. You can follow her on everything else. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, and Blue Sky at Melball Collins. You can also find me with... Oh, I'm sorry, on our local establishments programming with this guy every Friday night at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. Unless it's not. And then we'll let you know on social media. We will be live at 8 p.m. Mountain Time this Friday, though, because there is no wrestling happening in Edmonton that we care about. So <laughs> we, are just, we are going to be here with all of you beautiful people talking about all the latest and greatest in Japanese wrestling. And we have some news to share for you guys. So wait in anticipation Do we got some good news for them or some bad news for them? Well, I am not Wade Barrett. <laughs> oh, okay. So... I'm a good news. I'm gonna. Are you just trying to get me to say the phrase? Because I'll do it. No, just asking. No, oh, okay, okay, okay. No, we're good. Where was I? You can also find me on Astro Pizarro's YouTube channel where we do our show, Ladies Wrestling Showcase. We have to put out a show soon because we have a lot of stuff to talk about with the ladies and a lot has been going on with the ladies. So we got to talk about it. We have opinions. You want to hear about it. So stay tuned to our socials to find out when that's coming out next. If you're wanting to watch some real Canadian wrestling, we will leave their link to their Facebook page down below, which will link you to their event right where you can purchase tickets. Or you can get in the know with some of your favorite local professional wrestlers and get in touch with them to avoid the service fees. The next wrestling show with RCW is going to be happening, I believe, October 11th. I believe that's factual. Yeah, it's a Friday, October 11th. Um, at the Norwood Legion, um, I don't think that there's been any official matches announced for that show, but we are waiting in anticipation to see what is going on there. Andre, my trusted friend and colleague, do you have anything else to say to that beautiful people? I just want to say. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Oh, I was waiting for that. Oh, <laughs> we, oh we did some air. <laughs> I cool. I cooled her down with Yoshihashi. Don't worry. <laughs> it was going my loins, my loins, and then they froze. <laughs> Jesus. I just want to say thank, thank you to everybody. Uh, please, uh, if you're uh, if you're watching on back Backbreaker or uh, Andre Milvers and talk. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm waiting for you to do the like the channel. Please, please give us a follow. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Don't forget to comment down below. Share it with all your friends, family, and just awesome, awesome people that you know in your life. Hit that, hit that like button. There you go. <laughs> and don't forget <laughs> hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. Be 
expect. I am your Mel Ball. <laughs> over there is Andre. And over here is the natural Astrid. We will see you next time. Mm.